Hi guys and welcome back to a new video. In today's video, I will be talking about patch 10.2 and more especially, I will explain what you need to do right now in order to prepare for this new patch. And also I will mention all the different things you should really do before the launch of patch 10.2. So if you're not aware, patch 10.2 will be released on November 7. So it means that you have still one week and a half to do most of the different activities I'm going to mention in this video. So this video will be divided into three different parts. The first one will go through what you need to do in order to best prepare for patch 10.2. Then the second part will go through all the different things that will be removed from the game or unaccessible after the launch of patch 10.2 and that you should try to do before that if you want to. And the third section will be about potential investment opportunities that you should check before again the release of patch 10.2. So the first thing you want to do before patch 10.2 is to complete the Coalition of Flames storyline because if you're not completing this storyline, you won't be able to have access to all the different quests that will then allow you to go to the Emerald Dream. And so you will lose quite a lot of time. So in order to do this quest line, basically all you have to do is go in Valdraken and you want to talk to Shandris just here and like that, you will then be able to complete all these different quests and you will be prepared for the new storyline that will bring you to the Emerald Dream. The second thing I would really recommend you to do as well is to try and gear up all your main characters and also some of your alts that you're probably going to play with in patch 10.2, simply because like that, you will be able to start doing all the different new things with the new season, such as Mythic Plus and also, of course, the new raid. And here it's especially important if you're planning to make some gold because with the new raid, you will be able to get nine new BOEs, especially one ring. And all these different BOEs will probably sell for a lot of gold during the first few weeks, especially the ones from the Eric version. And so if you want to try and find a group or be invited into a group, you will need to have already a pretty good eye level because otherwise no one's going to invite you. So if you're planning to try and make some gold with these different BOEs, I would really recommend you to gear up and try to be ready for patch 10.2. Another important thing that you can do is simply collect all the different glyphs that are currently available for dragon riding because we will be getting some new talents for dragon riding in patch 10.2. And so like that, you will be able to then unlock these different talents. And as you probably know, dragon riding is very important to win a lot of time and do things as fast as possible. So again, this is something you can already run now and then you will be ready for these new talents. Another thing you can do is try to unlock all the different achievements that are already available from the Dragon Island Pathfinder that will allow you to then unlock flying in the Dragon House with all your normal flying mounts. So most of them are things you can already do right now. And so definitely, if this is something that you want to do as soon as possible in patch 10.2, you can already start doing all these different achievements right here. So the first one is going to be Waking Hope, complete the following storylines in the Waking Shore. The second one is Honor Roll, complete the following storylines in the Honor and Plains. The third one is Azure Spanner, complete the following storyline in the Azure Span. The fourth one is Just Don't Ask Me to Spell It, complete the following storylines in Taldrages. The fifth one is Embers of Neltarion, complete the following storylines leading up to and inside the Zarek Cavern. The sixth one is Fresh Scales 15, achieve Ronon 15 with all major factions on the Dragon House. And here, of course, you can't do it already simply because you will need to also have the reputation from the Emerald Dream, but you can already do all the other reputations available. Then the seventh one is Dragon Isles Explorer. So here you just need to explore all the different regions from the Dragon Isles. Then there is the Explorer, the Zarek Cavern. So here you need to just discover all the different areas of the Zarek Cavern. And finally, you will simply have to explore the different and finally, you will simply have to explore all the different areas of the Emerald Dream. So basically, the two only things you can't do right now are the reputation from the Emerald Dream and also the exploration of the different zones. Then basically, in patch 10.2, we will have a new system in order to get some of these different shipment of goods. This is going to be a weekly quest system. And so in order to get some of these different shipment of goods, you will need to use a lot of the different goods that are already available. 
And so what you can do right now is simply buy some of them in order to be ready for at least the first week. Keep in mind, I don't think really the value of all these different materials is going to change a lot because of this new system. Probably for the first few days, some people are going to try to buy out like most of these different materials and try to sell them for a higher price. But this is a region wide commodity. And for this reason, I don't think there's going to have a big jump in prices, especially because again, this is weekly. So just try to make sure to have all of that for the first week. And then after that, you should be fine. So here you can only see two of them, but then I would recommend you to go and watch the guide that Penguin did on this topic. And really you will be able to see all the different materials you will need in order to get this different shipment of goods. Another thing you can do, and that's really in order to make probably a little bit of gold at the beginning of patch 10.2 is to simply get a lot of different honor points because with these different points, you will be able to buy some of these different victorious contenders strong boxes. And when opening these different strong boxes, you will have a chance at getting some really good PVP recipes, especially all the new ones that will allow you to craft some 415 PVP gear. So definitely something that you can do, especially if you're planning to try and get a little bit of honor points, you can do that. And then on day one, you can go buy a few of these different contenders strong boxes and hopefully you will get some very expensive BOE recipes that will then be able to either sell on the auction house or use and start crafting all these different items. So now let's talk about all the different things that will be either removed from the game in patch 10.2 or that simply won't be available during this patch and that you might want to do before that. The first thing on our list is, of course, getting the mount for the achievement of the Keystone Master for Season 2. So basically, you will need to complete all the different Mythic Dungeons in Mythic Plus and get a special score in order to then get the achievement and receive this mount. This mount won't be available in patch 10.2, so this is definitely something that you can do before if you want it. If you're not able to do it yourself or you don't like Mythic Plus like myself and you still want the mount, what you can do is go on this Discord channel right here, War Market, and like that, you will be able to find all the different boosts for your region, so either the US or Europe. And here you will find a lot of people who are offering these different services. You can still do that and get the mount in time before patch 10.2. And it will probably cost you around 1 million gold in order to get this achievement and the mount. I will post the link in my description. So if you're interested, you can go and visit this Discord channel. Then after that, of course, you have all the different PvP achievements and the different mounts that you can get with that. So the first one is the Gladiator Mount for Season 2. So again, this is something that won't be available after patch 10.2. You also have the Dragon Riding Glyph for that. Then next to that, you also have the two vicious uh, war snails. So again, these will probably be reintroduced into the game later on, but at least they won't be available in patch 10.2. And finally, you have all the different edit gear. So these are all the different appearances that will be completely removed from the game after patch 10.2. So if you want any of these, it's going to be probably a little bit tricky for you. But again, you can try to push before patch 10.2, especially the edit set this is probably something that you can get. Uh, so just something to keep in mind. And again, you won't be able to get most of these things after patch 10.2. After that, and this is actually something that won't be available after next Wednesday, so November 1st, and this is this mount right here, Eve's Ghastly Rider. So this is the monthly reward for the training post for the month of October. And so it means that you still have just a few more days to do all the different activities required in order to get this mount. And after that, it will probably come back. But this is right now something that won't probably be, be available at least during patch 10.2. And of course, you also have all the other rewards from the trading post for the month of October that will probably be gone for at least a few months after the next release for the trading post. So after November 1st. Then after that, of course, next Wednesday, the 1st of November is also the end of the Arrows End event. So here, there are a few things that you might want to do before that. The first thing, of course, is to do the daily dungeon, the Headless Horseman, in order to have a chance at getting the Headless Horseman's mount. So this is something that you will only be able to get until Wednesday. And after that, you will have to try again next year. Next to that, of course, you can get a few different items that 
are probably going to be interesting in order to make some gold throughout the year. And the first one is, of course, the coin of many faces. So for this one, you will need to go just here in Draenor in the Shadow Moon Valley. You want to go just on that specific place and you want to kill all the different ghosts that are around. And like that, you will have a chance of getting some of them. You can, of course, also buy some from the auction house if they're very cheap. And like that, you will then be able to sell them back during the year for way more gold. So definitely something that you want to do. Try to get a few of them. And like that, you'll be at least secured for the rest of the year. And similar to this toy, you also have the sack of spectral spiders. So this one, you will be able to get it from your garrison when killing this rare right here. I made a guide recently where I explain exactly what you need to do in order to summon this rare and have a chance of getting it. So try to watch that. And again, try to maybe have one or two of these toys available with you for the rest of the year. Finally, when it comes to the Addos and event, you also really want to make sure you have the Scarlet Key with you before next Wednesday and that you also unlock the different mysteries of Scarlet Monastery in order to have access to the old dungeon. So this is something, again, I made a full guide on it. Basically, in order to get this key, you need to do the Headless Horseman fight with five curses. And so this is something that, unfortunately, you normally won't really be able to get after that. And so definitely right now you can find some for a very, very cheap price on the auction house if you didn't manage to get your own. And so if you're a little bit late, I would recommend you to do that before the end of uh, this event because after that, probably the value on these different keys is going to increase quite a lot. So try to buy one, unlock all the different mysteries, and like that you will be able to have access to the old Scarlet Monastery after the end of this event. Another thing that you might want to consider is use all the different currencies that will be transformed into gold at the end of this current season and at the release of patch 10.2. So for instance, you have all the different bloody tokens. You can come just here and either maybe buy some of the toys that are available, some of the different appearances. Uh, you have different type of vendors. So it's really up to you to see what you want to do with these. And then of course, you also have, for instance, the different conquest points from PvP. So just make sure to maybe spend these because unfortunately they will be transformed into gold and they will probably be pretty useless because you won't get a lot of raw gold with all these different points. Finally, let's talk about a few investment opportunities that again, you might want to consider before the release of patch 10.2. The first one is something I already covered in another video and basically it's buying some of the different raid BOEs from the current raid simply because these different appearances have a unique appearance for all the different classes that are not having the appearance from their tier set from the raid. So for instance here, as you can see, if you want this appearance in your cloth player, only priests will be able to get it from the different bosses and all these other classes will have to get the appearance from the BOE. And so definitely some of these BOEs, again, especially these different cloth shoulders, will probably sell for way, way more in patch 10.2 simply because people are not really going to do the current raid anymore. And like that, the rarity and also the value of these different BOEs is going to increase a lot. So of course, not all of them are interesting. I would say really try to mainly target these different shoulders from cloth and keep in mind they have different appearances and colorations for all the different uh, like level of difficulty and so you definitely want to try and buy them for all these different level of difficulties i would say the eric one is probably the best and then probably the lfr one and keep in mind also not a lot of people are going to do lfr after that so again these different appearances are things you really want to invest in right now after that you have all the different green boes that you can get just by killing random mobs in the zara caverns because all these different green boes have really cool appearances and as you can see they're all unique so as the emerald dream is going to be a new zone probably less people are going to do some of the different activities in the zara cavern and so probably some of these different appearances are going to be a little more rare on the auction house and some people are still going to want to get the different appearances. So try to maybe invest in some of them if you find them at a very, very cheap price. And definitely that's something that could be a really good investment opportunity again for patch 10.2 and even after that. And then of course you have the different items that I already mentioned. So for instance, you have the Scarlet Key, definitely something that I think will get an increased value after the end of the Allos End event. 
And of course, after that, you have all the different consumables from Dragonflight that probably right now are very cheap and maybe there's gonna have a short increase during the first week. But again, this is something that here is a little bit more risky, I would say. So these are the main things I wanted to discuss today. And again, it's really up to you to see how you want to prepare and what you want to do before patch 10.2. So I hope you will find at least some of these different items useful and that you will be able to then make it easy for you to start patch 10.2. I will be back very soon with more guides and more videos, especially I will try to cover a lot of new things coming up with patch 10.2 in terms of goal making and also just over things in general. So stay tuned for more and I will see you all very soon. Bye.